Hello painters. Today we're going to work on the Wiz Kids Esmeralda's Wagon from the Adventure Campsite set. I'm going to start off with some Citadel Nolan Oil wash and coat the entire model. I would suggest wearing some gloves for this if you have them. So just get a large brush and rub it all over it. I'm going to make sure not let it pool up too much in any areas. So right now I'm just taking my brush, wicking away any areas where it's pooled, wiping it on a paper towel. Now we're going to break out the airbrush and do some scale 75 violet. So I put a little flow improver in the airbrush, about 50-50, with the paint stirred up with the brush. And uh, make sure you turn your air compressor on before you do this, which I forgot to do. So I'm just taking a piece of uh, note card and uh, Kind of masking off the lower part of it because I don't want to get the purple on the wood parts. Also being careful around the top which there's some wood trying not to get onto that either. Or you could just brush this color on. Doing the other side. Holding it at an angle so it won't spray where I don't want it. Now I'm masking off that top part of the cab. Just like that. I started to airbrush the underneath side, but in, decided just to use a paintbrush for that. Next up, we've got some Vallejo Model Color Violet Red. And I've dumped out most of the previous color and added some of this in just to brighten it up a bit. So it's kind of a mid-tone between the two colors. And I'm trying to keep this toward the center of each section. Just do thin coats, don't let it build up. And just use several passes until it's the color and the intensity that you want it to be. Turn my light up a little bit so you can see. Now we're just doing straight Vallejo Model Color Violet Red. So I washed out the airbrush and now we're just using the straight Violet Red. As you can see, the color is much more intense now. Notice how I'm leaving the dark purple around the edges. Now I've got some Vallejo game air warlord purple I'm 
Now we're going to highlight the center of what we used with the violet red. Just brightening it up a little bit. But we don't want to cover up all the violet red. Next up, Vallejo Game Air Squid Pink, which I'm once again mixing in with the previous color of Warlord Purple. Just highlighting smaller and smaller sections as we go brighter and brighter. Next up, we're going to spray just the top with Vallejo Gloss Varnish. And this will protect it against the wash, which we're about to do. So this is Citadel Druchi Violet Wash. And we're just going to coat the, the whole purple top. This will take some of that pink out and also help show the details in the roof. And as always with the wash, don't let it pool up too much. Wick away any excess. Alright. Onto the wood. Scale 75 Intense Wood Ink. cover pretty much the rest of the model and don't forget the top parts on the very top so all around the whole cab the wheels all right next we've got our secret weapon weathered wood Get a really dry dry brush and start dry brushing all of the wood. All right, now we've got our uh, Vallejo Metal Color Magnesium. We're painting all the metal parts, so like the shocks or struts underneath the wagon, and the lamp posts, and the little uh, metal hitches on the front. And what I assume is a chimney smokestack coming out of the top. and the little hub gaps. And the chain that's across the back door and there's a padlock. Next up we've got some Vallejo model color dark Prussian blue. 
And we're going to paint all of these little windows. There are 41 of them. After that, pacifier, uh, P3 Arcane Blue. And on each window, I'm doing just diagonal little hash marks. Not quite starting at all the at the top and not quite all the way to the bottom. And I do two passes over each one. Make sure you don't have too much paint on your brush. Just little diagonal marks. Then we've got P3 Maro White. And now I'm just going to do two to four uh, diagonal marks in the same direction as the others. gives little hints of reflection. Next up, we've got P3 Iosin Green. We're going to paint all three sets of curtains. We'll probably take two coats to cover this. Next up we've got P3 Necrotite Green. Now we're just hitting the raised areas on the curtains. Trying not to keep it, or trying to keep the Necrotite Green out of the recesses. And to that Necrotite Green we're gonna add some Citadel Flash Gets Yellow and do a final highlight on the edges of the curtains. Finally, some Reaper Lemon Yellow. We're going to paint the glass in the lanterns. And there you have the finished wagon. So, if you guys like this video, make sure and hit the like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Make sure and check me out on Twitch TV where I do live stream painting tutorials. And if you're interested, check out my Patreon. There's links to all of them in the description below. Thanks and see you next time.